Each member is chosen for his or her own completely unique set of abilities. The Suicide Squad is the standalone sequel to 2016's Suicide Squad. Confusing, I know. There are a few returning characters, but most are newly developed from the DC Universe in what looks like a superhero version of the Dirty Dozen. Joel Kinnaman, who played Alex Murphy in the 2014 Robocop remake, returns as Rick Flagg, the nominal leader of the Suicide Squad. Margot Robbie also reprises her role as psychiatrist gone bad Harley Quinn. Robbie is one of the biggest stars in Hollywood with nominations for two Oscars, four Golden Globes and five BAFTAs. The Australian made her name in The Wolf of Wall Street and has been a leading star in awesome movies like I, Tonya and Mary Queen of Scots. We also see the return of Amanda Wallace, the government agent in charge of the Suicide Squad. Played again by the superb and always oozing authority Viola Davies, star of many films including The Help, State of Play and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. She is the first black actor and to date the youngest ever actor to have won the triple crown of acting, an Oscar, an Emmy and a Tony. Having hollowed out the returning cast, the new squad members comprise of Idris Elba, who was initially cast as the returning Deadshot in the place of Will Smith, who had filming clashes. But instead, they've made Elba's character into another one, Bloodsport, the guy who put Superman in ICU with a kryptonite bullet. Elba has plenty of form in action guise, though. Roles in Prometheus, Pacific Rim, and he has, of course, played Heimdall, gatekeeper of the bridge to Asgard in numerous MCU movies. Here, He's the character the audience sympathise with as he shows a stoic despair at the mad, hopeless team that surrounds him. The rest of the team include Sylvester Stallone as King Shark. Think Great White Groot for this one. John Cena the wrestler is Peacemaker, a sort of douchebag version of Captain America who believes in killing as many people as necessary to achieve peace. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women and children I need to kill to get it. Sean Gunn best known as Kraglin, the Yondu Revenger clan's first mate of the Guardians of the Galaxy, here he is a violent, confused weasel, so typecast them. David Dastmalchian, most often seen as Kurt, the hacker fixer to Ant-Man and the Wasp, here plays the hopeless Polka Dot Man, and there are a host of other characters on offer. Who are the Suicide Squad up against? Well, Jai Courtney of Terminator Genesis and the Divergent series returns as the unhinged bad guy Captain Boomerang. Check out our movie cast for Jolt to see him there too. And Peter Capaldi of Doctor Who fame and the aggressive, impatient spin doctor from In The Loop plays the supervillain The Thinker. Released by Warner Brothers in the US on August 5th, The Suicide Squad is also available the following day on HBO Max.